of Lydia here and welcome back to a new Bleeding Edge Gods review on my channel. So today I'm actually continuing on with the series 4 reviews and this is Devastatia, if I'm pronouncing her name uh, correctly. And uh, she's almost the last one from this series because I already did a review on three uh, other dolls and I have one more. And as you can see, she is uh, unboxed because that's how I bought the whole series, unboxed. And she is missing her little bio card, but otherwise the doll is uh, complete. Now that I gave her a little bit of a um, judging. <laughs> and uh, she is awesome and she is really in re really good uh, condition. So, uh, yeah, let's take a closer look at her because she is super cool. So here is a close-up of her face and she has absolutely beautiful big blue eyes and she kind of has this really faint uh, grayish black makeup around it. Now as you can see uh, on one side of her face she has this awesome uh, dragon tattoo and her eyebrow is actually like the tongue of the dragon and I think that's really clever and uh, interesting. And on the other side she has an arched eyebrow and underneath her eye she has three little black dots on one side and over here you can see that she has this uh, teardrop that's actually like blood because it's red so I don't know I just really love her uh, whole face up because it's so um, interesting and clever. She has a uh, really uh, beautiful and full uh, lips which are painted in this dark red color and around it it has a little bit of a black uh, contour and she has a little ring piercing in her lower lip and a little piercing on this side as well and she has some little earrings two on this side and two on that side as well now she has a uh, pretty long black hair but it's all holed up in this really interesting um, kind of reminds me of Chinese culture well actually sh her whole look is kind of like that because you know the dragon um, little bun little mushroom mushroom shaped <laughs> bun and uh, she has a long teal streak going on starting from here in the front I don't know if you can see that well because it kind of blends in with her black hair and goes into two parts or two ways and it's really really long and you can see that it goes almost all the way down to the bottom and there's one in the back as well uh, I'm not exactly sure if I did redid her hair after I cleaned her and washed her hair uh, correctly but I looked at some pictures and this is how it looked like so I hope I did a good job with that. And now moving down she has this uh, really interesting and open with an open back um, black long dress that goes down way to the bottom and it has white polka dots on it and it's split on this side so you can actually see her leg and shoes so it's really um, like old-fashioned style but still looks I don't know really good and she has this um, white fake leather I guess it's like fake leather because it looks like it and feels like it a corset on it so this is a separate piece from the dress and you can take it off pretty easily because it just has those little um, hooks and fangs I guess that, that's what they are called on the back and uh, on the front has some little um, decorative buttons and she also has uh, fingerless black gloves and by the way originally she was missing one of her gloves so I uh, remade them I mean I remade one of them uh, and honestly I no longer remember which one was I, I think this one was the original and this one is the the one that I made for her but you can't really tell them apart so that's good and moving down she has uh, some black shoes if I can 
show it to you with one hand, there we go. So some black high heels with actually pretty pretty big um, soles, so they are like platforms in a way. Uh, I'm not really fond of the shoes. I don't think they are mat they match the her whole look and her the, her whole dress pretty well. So um, yeah, and last but not least, she has a white feather boa. It just fell off when I was showing you the doll, so that's why I'm showing it to guys like this. And this isn't her original feather boa. Uh, because you can probably notice that the feathers are way longer than the original one had. And that's because, again, she was missing her original uh, feather boa when I got her. So I just did one for her. I remade it. And... Uh, I wanted to cut, uh, to shorten the little feathers uh, first, but after that when I put it on the doll I just saw that it looked so well and looked so good with um, long feathers that I just left it like this, so um, yeah, <laughs> doesn't want to stay there, but that's okay, so um, yeah, that's about it for uh, Devastation, so Leave a comment down below what do you think of her. I think she's super, super pretty and she's really growing on me. She's becoming one of my favorite um, Big God stars. And uh, if you like my review, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more Bleeding Edge and other kind of doll and doll. <laughs> I mean, toy and doll reviews. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!